Jill here, Special Needs Mom Talks, new filter today, just moi, and uh, following up on the judgment conversation, why the heck do we as special needs par- parents, caregivers, or just human beings right now, because really, I think everybody is in the in the the craziness, even more profoundly for someone that's dealing with an individual that, you know, isn't accepted necessarily by the programming and the structure of our society. And they're always at the mercy of other people's perceptions and judgments. So that makes our own perceptions and judgments even more intense. And and we notice them a lot. And I think that that, um, that is in part due to our lack of ability to just accept or to be okay with the unseen and the unheard energetics of situations. We are always dealing with the external and having to be on the treadmill, the hamster wheel, the the nine to five or whatever, and following, we got to do this, we got to do that. But in the meantime, all this stuff is happening, thoughts, feelings, and emotions that we just don't get a chance to give credo to. And even more so with a parent, a caregiver, an individual with, um, say, autism, perhaps, uh, social situations where um, their interactions are jumbled and maybe not be as clear or they're inappropriate quote unquote inappropriate. And we as the parent caregiver are like up here in this multidimensional space, thinking for the person they're interacting with, thinking for ourselves and thinking that we're helping them. This situation happened today with uh, with my daughter and uh, she was just uh, a little rushed in her communication style and it was kind of blurted out. And I was, I was observing myself and I I felt the irritation and the need to jump in and kind of smooth the whole thing out. So, you know, I, you know, I haven't been around her as much and she did a great job. And I also thought I I noticed her annoyance with me. I could just feel it. And I thought to myself, wow, wow, because yeah, if that was my mom saying those things to me, that would have annoyed the crap out of me. So when we sat down to eat, I said to her, I said, I realized that I kind of jumped in there and I thought you were doing a really good job. And I just kind of talked about, we talked about it a little openly why I said that. And uh, I also said, I noticed, Connie, you were a little annoyed with me and I want you to know that that's perfectly okay. I would have been annoyed with my own mother. So um, I think this kind of ties into the judgment conversation where the energetics just are like, we just have to skirt past them and keep keep walking down on the treadmill around the hamster wheel and we do and we lose all the unseen all the unseen that it really is driving our our experience i don't know if that makes sense to anybody and as special needs parents this is exacerbated and it happens every day and i don't think that in in realistically it's just going to go away that we're going to get to a point where we're not impacted or um, experiencing the judgments. And the, it's just, it's more just noting it, uh, noting it and being okay with that because it's not a perfect world and we're human and giving ourselves a break as we realize that we might be overstepping or giving grace for the 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 lack of impulse control and communications that we witness with our offspring and trying to hold space for everybody in the dynamic gives ourselves a freaking break and our offspring a freaking break because I don't know about you, but I, I bet that being told, you know, how to do things and what's wrong with the way you're communicating and being at the other end of the receiving, I've, as I've talked to about being helped must really be hard. And I did mention that to my daughter as well, to be told that you're doing it wrong 24 seven and you're doing the freaking best you can. We need to give ourselves all grace and uh, as much as we can be the observer. And if we're judging, we're judging. Note the energetics. They're so important. That's what's the feeling, the soul of the, the, the soul, of the experience, all the stuff we don't say, start saying it, at least saying it in your head, in your journal or whatnot, get it out. Love to y'all.